nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello, so welcome to another episode of Running Racks. Do you want to run racks? I want to run racks. So I will attempt to run racks myself. And if I fail, I will, I will tell you why, why I failed. That is very important that, uh, that you learn, that you learn from your mistakes. What went wrong and how can you fix that? So that is something I have started with recently in my videos. I will just tell you why, why it happened and let, let's, let's learn together. Why, why did I miss that shot? Can I make a stop shot? Let's get the... I will go back a little bit for the three ball. I was a little afraid to, to draw back so far because I was, I was afraid of a miscue. So I didn't want to draw back too far. Here I will play here for the, for the four. Because I want to play one where two rails come up here for the five. So a lot of low right, low right, low right spin. There you go, top left. There you go, very nice. Now comes a tough shot. Many make the mistake of making a slow roll. Come up straight for the six, but the cue ball will roll off line if the table is not perfect. And no table is perfect, so I prefer to go around the corner. Low left, go around the corner. That's a tougher shot, of course. But if you make a very slow roll, I will show you very slow roll. Many players do this, especially especially juniors. Make a very slow roll like that. Almost missed the pocket. So ra ra you rather shoot harder. Rather shoot harder, but if you shoot harder, of course, the people will go too far. I will show you. Shoot as hard as required, cue ball goes too far, and you can of course make it in a side, but you don't want to draw, draw back the cue ball when shooting into the side pocket. You don't want to do that. So, I will show you the first alternative that I had. Um, I will show you that. Long shot, low left. There, that is the best shot to do. Now I use top spin with right spin. There, and now I have a good angle on the seven to come up one way for the eight. I need to shoot a little hard of this shot. Like that. And that, that, is, that is fine, very nice. I don't want to risk anything here on the 7, just to go a little further and get an easy shot on the 8. I, I like to have, having a cut shot here, is, it is okay. Here I will go around the table, uh, one, two rails, go between the rail and the 9. This can be a tough shot, but you need experience to, to do this. Right spin. Oh, I hit it too thin, I hit it too thin. I'm still okay. So on, on these shots, even if you hit a 9, you're, you're still fine. I know that's from experience. Everything still works fine if you hit the 9 on, from the bottom side. I will show you that. I will do it again. Right spin. There we go. That, that is the shot I wanted. That is nice. And then the final uh, nine, nine ball. And the final 10. That, that should be easy for you. So that, that is the first, first rack. And now it's time for the second rack. So you saw so that the the long shaft of the five, it was very critical. The rest was quite easy. But that long shaft was very tough. 
Here I will follow the cable close to the rail, come out a little bit, have anchor on the tube. Top spin. And now, because I hit it too thick, because I hit it too thick, the cable didn't have a chance to hit the rail and come back. If I had hit that straight in, the cable would have hit the rail and come out. So those are the differences that happen if you don't hit it clean. You need, to, you need to be aware of what happens if you don't hit the balls clean into the pocket. You need to know all the variables, all the everything that can happen. Here I will, I, I'm worried of hitting the 8 here. I hit the rail there. I might hit the 8 there and get snooker behind the 10. So the, uh, because of that reason I want to shoot a little harder. Okay, shoot a little harder. Maybe end up somewhere there on the three ball, just to avoid any problems there. So a lot of right spin here. I want to change the angle from the red, so I use a lot of right spin. I don't want to go directly towards the eight. So I use right spin. There you see. Now I went a little further here, just to be just to be a little safe and not hit not hit the, any balls and get stuck. Okay, if I if I had hit the eight. The cable would, would still have had enough speed to to go far after the A, hit with the A, so I would have been fine anyway. So here I will cut it into the side, play one rail for the for the four. So top spin, little left spin. Oops, I, I missed that shot. I missed that shot. Why did I miss that shot? It, it is because I looked at the position. I look at the position play, I forgot to look at the, the ball I was making. I was concentrating fully on the position. So do it again, but this time focus on the making the shot. Top spin, left spin. There we go. And now I hit it a little too thin, the cable went a little too far, but I'm okay. Here you don't want to go this path because you might end up snooker behind the ten. So I will go one way, two ways. Stop somewhere there, far away from the balls. There you go. That is, that is okay. Now I don't need. I will uh, make top spin, top spin, little left spin. And now I hit it too thin. You saw that I hit it too thin. And there you go. That is a snooker right there. Because I hit the hit it way too thin, hit the rail, hit the rail there, cable ended up again and ended, ended up going another direction, more to the left here, more to this direction. And that is the reason I got snookered behind the 10 ball. Okay. And now I lose the game because of that. So that is a lesson for you there that uh, if I had hit the five too full, I would have scratched in, in the in the pocket as well. So that was a tough shot on, on the five there. And I think I'm going to show you. That. No, I will not show you that. <laughs> this is the end of the video. Someone is at the door. So until next time, goodbye. There's nothing else in life than pool. Play pool. Play pool.